This is me. Just kidding. This is me. My name is Amanda, and welcome to my podcast where I will be talking about pop culture, music, film, drama, and fan videos. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. And now we're going to be talking about, and now we're going to be moving forward with the second episode of the fall series where I did a critique on actually the past three episodes of The Masked Singer and basically it's going to be like a recap and basically all and basically all my comments and on like who was actually eliminated and and also like their you know performances and stuff like that so let's get into it so I'm gonna start off with the first person that actually performed of the night, which uh, which was the character, which is the Queen of Hearts. Now I absolutely love all the costumes that they put all these people in because I think they look absolutely amazing, and I think everyone looks like a rock star, like no matter what costume it is. And so I would have to say, for uh, f- for the very first performance that I saw for the Queen of Hearts, I. For some reason, for like the vibe that I got from like the costume and the singing voice, I kind of thought that it was like a, maybe like a big time like pop artist, maybe like a female artist, maybe from like the 90s or maybe like the early 2000s. For some reason, my first impression was actually Gwen Stefani, which I'm probably way off on, but to be honest, I, I kind of thought that she had like an edge to her voice and there was some some type of rock in there. So for some reason, she was actually my first impression guest. I also kind of thought that the costume actually made me think of Lady Gaga for some reason. And well, well to be honest, I kind of feel like that she would actually be able to pull pull off like a costume like that, like on stage. So it kind of made me think of her personality like on stage. But definitely, um, like I would think that based on like the voice, it's, it's definitely someone that I feel like that I've heard of. But I really can't really seem to put my finger on it. And also for like the Queen of Hearts, I kind of actually thought that maybe this person also had like a Southern accent. So maybe they are maybe like a country female singer. For some odd reason, I my first impression was that it was Leanne Womack. But to be honest, I'm probably way off on that because I honestly don't know why I thought about her. But she was the very first person, you know, that I thought of. And so that's why she was my first impression guest based on like a country female artist. Now, moving on to the next character, which was actually the Mallard. I also thought that this person was actually a country male, male singer as well. And based on the clues, those two of the clues actually include that he was an author and that he has a platinum record. The first person that I thought of was actually Jason Aldean. Based on the costume, for some reason, I kind of got some vibes that it was actually him. And then also, surprisingly, Probably for my second guess, I kind of thought it could have been Garth Brooks because I know he has a platinum, a platinum record, um, probably more than just one. He is actually like one of the best selling, actually, I think, I think he is the best selling country male artist actually in, actually in the U.S. So he probably has more than like a platinum record. He has probably a multi-platinum record. So I thought it could have been him. It could have been him as well and then moving on to the next character which is the cupcake i thought the cupcake was absolutely adorable and surprisingly i would have i would have to say that the cupcake was probably the second hardest person to probably guess based off of the singing voice so i would have to say that the cupcake kind of took me by surprise because i definitely got a feel that actually this person was like an r b singer but to be honest at first i actually thought this was a guy based off of based off of like the deepness of like kind of like the voice and then for some and for some odd reason i actually thought based off of the costume it could have been a it could, it, it could have been a female so i was honestly very confused on like who this could have been and I was like completely thrown off I did not have a first impression guest at all because I could not really think of really anyone with anyone with that type of type of a singing voice but I definitely kind of thought at first that it was actually someone who was maybe like a drag queen but to be honest I didn't want to like lean towards that type of actually prediction so that was 
a very that was that was that was a very hard um uh that was a very hard person to probably guess of like kind of like who that was okay so then moving on to the next costume and or person it was actually it was actually it was actually like a dalmatian which i thought was kind of really cool looking I, I definitely loved like all the bling that like this person was actually wearing so my first impression was that it was actually a young football player i kept on getting like those vibes because the clue that was actually mentioned was actually a playbook and then uh because because the thing is with playbooks is that like you know based off of sports that football players use actually playbooks and so that's why I kind of got that vibe. But also when this person started singing, it definitely kind of made me think of a rapper as well. But to be honest, I couldn't really think of that many rappers off the top of my head of actually of who this could have been. For some odd reason, I actually got like an R&B vibe and also kind of like a rap vibe from like this person. So for some reason, I thought it was Neo. But to be honest, I have listened to Neo's uh, singing voice before. So it definitely was not him. But I know that's a very... I know that's a very bad guess, but honestly, that's like, <laughs> he was the only person I thought of actually when it came to actually that, when it came to that character on stage, but I thought, I actually thought that it was actually like a very good, you know, performance. To be honest, I thought, I thought every single performance probably so far, like of the season has been very good and it's been probably very challenging to figure out like who any of these people are. Now, fall now following up actually this character this would have to be probably the hardest um character not just one but two characters to figure out which is uh, uh, which which is banana split i would have to say they're probably the most difficult uh difficult characters to figure out and they are definitely like a favorite for sure because i've been looking online and looking at comments and people are, are like and people are like absolutely love kind of like who they are i think whoever the female is who uh who is actually singing she has a great voice but of course i can't put my finger on it my first impression was actually that she was like a younger like like a younger like pop singer and that <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a really bad guess but um, I actually thought that it was actually a sabrina carpenter because she's because she's a young pop singer but i once again, like, once again, this is just, like, my first, you know, like, impression, so I don't really, I really, <laughs> I honestly really don't think that any of my guesses are really going to be true and accurate, but, like, she was the first person I thought of for this as well. I kind of thought that, actually, because it was two people, that maybe it would be a brother-sister duo. I didn't, based on, like, based on, like, everybody else's, you know, thoughts that I've seen on the internet, people think that, that maybe it could be like maybe like a married couple or maybe like a divorced couple but to be honest i don't know any famous you know you know couples or and you know probably even any you know a divorced couples for that matter because i don't pay attention to their love love lives that uh, maybe that the you know that like kind of like the mentor maybe like on the you know like on the like on the piano was also like really good like as well so my first impression but like if it was two people, I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm not even gonna tell you tell you like who I thought it was because I know it is way off and because they're in like a and they're in a, they're in a completely different genre of, of like music. So I think towards like the end of the episode, my final prediction was that the Mallard would actually get eliminated. It actually, ended up being actually the actually the uh, Dalmatian, which en which ended up being Tyga, which I would have never would have guessed that was him, but it made. It kind of made sense, maybe like after like all the clues kind of came, probably like kind of like all kind of like all kind of like all together, and so I thought he did a very good job like in that episode, and also th that is a spoiler, and the and also there will be more uh, spoilers, you know, as I go on and and actually talk about like the other episodes as well. So if you have if you have not seen this show, then I just totally, you know, I just told you like kind of like what happened, so. And, you know, it, so so if I were you, I would not be watching my episode, but I just wanted to let you know that. So moving on to the next episode, which was actually episode four, 
since I didn't see the first two episodes of the series, I had to actually rewatch and actually see what all the other characters were like. So in this episode, you had Group A in here. So I will give you, I will also give you like the recap of actually Group A. So the very first character I saw was actually the bull, and so I thought his uh, performance was actually very entertaining and I loved like his dancing so I'll definitely show you some clips of him dancing his backstory where actually he said that he was actually very where actually where he was very shy and that like as he got older that he became kind of like become that he became like more kind of like the life of the party because I kind of actually felt like a personal a connection to that because when I was younger I was also very shy too and based on kind of like the clues that he uh gave he is that I thought he definitely had a big personality I kind of thought that maybe he could have been maybe like a DJ and he was and he and he and he definitely had a big like personality and and, and so that definitely showed through like kind of like his you know a performance and like his dance but for the next character it was the hamster I, I definitely love the hamster because he was absolutely so much fun and he, and, and and so I definitely thought it was a guy he was a Apparently, a part of his clues is that he had the time of his life with, like, his friends when he was younger. I definitely got the vibe that he was maybe, like, a comedian or maybe, like, a jokester. And he was, like, full of, like, full of personality, tons of fun. And so, I also got the uh, feeling that he was actually a country singer as well, based off of, like, the song that he sang. So, my first impression was that he was either... Brad Paisley or maybe even like kind of like Luke Bryan because they love to poke fun at like a lot of people and even at each other and if you are a country fan and watch any like award shows they're always poking fun at like each other or or, or even Brad who has even hosted like even award shows he's always doing like the opening monologue we, monologue with like Carrie Underwood and they're always poking fun at like everyone so they were the first two people I thought of that could be maybe the hamster, but I honestly really don't know, but I think it'd be really cool if it was either like one of them. So they were my first two, you know, like, you know, like people that I thought of that could have been like the, that could have been the hamster. But now thinking about it, they're both like kind of like really tall. So I don't know if they would be able to fit into that hamster costume, but you don't know. Maybe it could be them. Maybe not. So then, moving on to the next uh, character, you know, which was the st- uh, which was the skunk. Um, my first impression of this character was that it was like an R and B and soul singer, and I was definitely kind of blown away by like the vocals that they actually uh, possess and like the clues that apparently they are tired of like living like the life that they like have and so based off of like those clues it didn't really help me a lot but I would have to say for my first impression I thought it was maybe like a maybe like a person that like that has done like R&B and soul for like a long time and maybe like they're like in like their like 30s or 40s maybe like maybe like an older like female so the first person I thought of was actually Kelly Rowland she uh, you know, for people that don't know who she is, she was actually one of the three members in Destiny's Child. So I kind of thought that she could have been actually like the skunk. But then also, I was digging a little bit deeper. I kind of thought that maybe that the second I would think that think that this would be was actually Monica, which is interesting because <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know like Monica's singing voice really all that well, but for some reason. It kind of gave me like the vibes that like it could have been her. So maybe, so maybe it could have been her. Oh, it was actually like the baby. I kind of actually, surprisingly, I actually thought that the costume for baby was a little bit kind of creepy. I did not expect the single voice that came out of the baby. I was honestly, I was like completely speechless. I had, I had no clue who this was. And I, 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 I was honestly, I was honestly just like speechless. I'm like thinking like, where did this voice come from? I had absolutely no guesses and or predictions whatsoever of who this could be. I was just like sitting there thinking like, what just happened? I mean, I have like, I was like really like shocked based on like kind of like who this was, but like kind of like who this was, but if I could maybe pinpoint of like who it was, 
maybe like it made me think of someone that had like a musical theater you know type of voice or maybe they had a very you know a comedic you know personality so um, so based on my best guess I would have thought that it could have been someone maybe like John maybe like John uh, Travolta but to be honest I really don't think it, it was him at all because I have listened to his singing voice many times on, on, on different like musical theater soundtracks and I and to be honest I really don't think that it was him but he was probably the best person I could think of that could probably fit the musical theater background. And then the next character that, that came in was actually a wild card and it was and it was actually a pepper so I kind of uh, thought that based on the clues that maybe it could have been like a female and I definitely thought she was tall and so based on like the clues that I thought that it could have been maybe someone who's well known on social media particularly TikTok because there was there there was a clip that I can there is a clip that I can show you that you know that kind of like made me think that she could have been maybe like a TikTok you know famous dancer possibly and so I kind of thought that person was kind of difficult to figure out too because I couldn't really pinpoint that voice as well because I'll tell you one thing this show can be very hard especially if you really can't tell like kind of like who like this is and especially if you aren't like a fan of like a certain person or like a certain genre of music it is I find this very difficult to even be like even like kind of like a person who is watching this at home trying to guess like who it is and then for like all and then for all four judges to even sit there and then they even think of like kind of like who it is like I would think that it would I think you would have to be like really smart to figure out like kind of like who it is kind of like each time so I find this show to be honestly very to be to be like very like difficult so for the ending of this episode surprisingly it was the baby that was actually eliminated actually very shocked to figure out who it was it ended up being the cable guy and so he is mainly known for actually voicing the char- character Mater uh, from the iconic uh, animated movie Cars. Well, I was surprised to find out that he was actually like the baby, but it made kind of perfect sense to me because he's not known for his singing. So that's probably why it was good for him to come on the show as maybe, you know, as like a singer because he's known for his acting or maybe his, you know, and also he's known for being like a comedian. So he's not known for being a singer. So that's probably why that he could have fooled like a lot of people because he definitely fooled me. That's for sure. Okay. So then for the last episode I covered, it was actually date night. So then, so then I got some extra clues on the following characters that I already watched. And if I wasn't already probably confused on who all these people were i'm even more confused than i was so based over the clues for date night i actually thought the banana split actually could have been julian and Derek hoff because they were actually talking they were actually talking about how they would talking about how they would take to take their date nicole who was one of the judges judges on the judges panel how they said that they would like to take her for a ball. So the reason why I thought of Derek is because he actually danced with Nicole on Dancing with the Stars. So then they would have to be my first impression guess based on like a duo of who could have been actually a banana split. But to be honest, I I really have no idea who actually banana split is. And but I, I can't I I honestly cannot wait to find out who that is. But based on but based on a duo they would have to be my they would have to be my guest uh, my guest for uh, for who could be a banana split and then following up after banana split the cupcake so I would have to say for the cupcake that she definitely seemed like she was a flirt and that um and also hinted at many boyfriends and she did also mention that she's divorced but once again like when people mention like their love lives and like and also if they're famous obviously I'm not gonna obviously their personal love lives are not gonna be like good clues for me so as usual I still had no idea who Cupcake was and then following up after the Cupcake was a, a, 
I was then the Queen of Hearts again. And then, of course, the Queen of Hearts would end up, you know, confusing me more by singing in French. And then it completely caught me off guard. So there was really only one singer who I could think of that could sing in French. And that would be Celine Dion. And to be honest, I, I still don't think that it was her. But that would be my only guess of what female singer that could you know, you know, that I would know that I could sing in French. So that's who I thought maybe the Queen of Hearts could have been as well. But since I'm a big fan of Celine, I really didn't think it was her voice. So, but that, but that's just another uh, prediction of, of who the Queen of Hearts could be or could not be. And also there was actually a clue that she, that she did a comedy roast with Ken. But to be honest, once again, that's not really a clue that a clue that would really help me out. So then, so then after that we, so then after that there was another another performance by Mallard, and I kind of thought that there was like a cute story, uh, a cute story uh, behind uh, behind his uh, love life, and once again, I'm confused on what the Mallard. Uh, came out and did because he was also rapping as well so so I couldn't really think of that many people that could pull off country music and then also rap at the same time so to be honest I didn't really have another a prediction on who the mallard could be and then surprise uh there was another there was another character, a new one, who was a wild card, and it was the caterpillar. This one I thought thought was kind of interested because I kind of actually felt like I, I could have figured out who it was, but I'm not gonna put I'm, I'm not gonna have a lot of hopes for this one either. Now, so for the clues for the caterpillar was that like he was a rebel, he didn't have that great of a home life, and he felt lonely at lonely at like a young age. And I kind of thought it was a male who could have been in his mid 30s or 40s. And what really actually kind of gave me like kind of like a maybe a clue was actually the high notes and like the falsettos and like the falsettos that he was hidden. And surprisingly, he made me think of a boy band member. I got excited because I'm a big fan of boy band. Like I could have figured out who it was. And everyone on the judges panel kept on thinking it was a Backstreet Boy, which is interesting because I'm a huge fan of the Backstreet Boys and they're my favorite boy band of all time. But I did not get like a slightest um, clue that it was any of them at all. But surprisingly, I did think it was a boy band member. And and so my first impression was that it was actually Drew, uh, Drew Lachey, who is one of, who is one of the front frontman singers of actually a 90s boy band called 98 Degrees. So I thought it was him based off of his voice. And then and then ending out the episode who actually ended up being eliminated. And once again, a spoiler alert, this was actually the cupcake. And it ended up being some 80s uh, female uh, singer. And actually from like a girl, actually from a girl band or like girl group called the Pointer Sisters and I thought that was kind of uh I thought that was kind of interesting unfortunately she went home so that will actually conclude the recap of all the episodes of The Masked Singer and so I just basically gave you everything so I basically give you everything so you don't even have to even watch the show so for the people who have been watching the show especially since the very first episode who uh, two questions actually will actually will actually uh, remain who do you think will be the next person to get voted off and who do you think is going to advance to the next episode please let me know in the comments and i'll and i will see you in the next episode